today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is the National Football League. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. It is clear, but it is cold here today as EA Sports takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. The KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, He's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. A run there on first down and a pretty good one of five yards, so make it second and five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Working from the gun. Mahomes. Man open. That's Marquez valdez Scantlin, And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. From midfield, here's Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And all the way in for a Kansas City. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive spanned five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Although a jet sweep to start the drive. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. 
To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Jones. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he'll be brought down with the first down as the tackle's made for the Chiefs 43. 23 yards the pick up there. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First carry now for Ramondre Stevenson. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Looking to throw, Jones. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And he'll be brought down at the 27. On second down, it's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Quite the opening drive march there on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back to throw. Jones. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. chance to get that initial touchdown right back off the play fake Jones there's Henry touchdown Patriots eight yards on the touchdown pass and the Patriots respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own this is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot you just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter. And we're tied 7 7. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's finished off by a pass touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. 
And I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. From the 31, Mahomes. Oh, the out route, he finds Hardman. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. And oh my, mistake there. Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And that, oh, incomplete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. They were just trying to give their offense a little more room down near their own goal line, but this is just going to make things worse. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. A leap, and he's got it! He got it! A really good pickup of 28 yards. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. So that time, they got the left guard with a hold. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And it's a room to maneuver. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to 43. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Looking to throw. Jones over the middle. He's got Gasicki, the big 6'5 tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll go down at the 28. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels.
Jones now throwing on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So second and four from the 22. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. They run once more with Stevenson. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the ten-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Caught! It's a tight end, Kelsey, for a New England touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now Fulk for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Casey's offense ready to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second and six, just inside the 30. There, they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he will have the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now, three plays, all three short runs, but together, a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Yellow, yellow. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. Screenplay, McKenna. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Behind the chain, second and 13. Throwing now is Mahomes, and this pass caught by Gray. So the completion good for just three. And that brings up third and a full ten yards. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Steps away. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
Here's Jones. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Patriots take over. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working. He's been working well towards 100 here. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Off play action, Jones. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Jones to throw on third down. He completes it to Henry. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 27. Now it's Stevenson. And in the 20 before he's brought down. 91 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown to this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Goodness, what a catch at the six. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And they got three yards, that's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something, a lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed, he delivered the tough yards. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. And defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. Now he's off from the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Mike Evans taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots go up by two touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? 
No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Extra point up and good by Folk. And it's now 21-7. A 10-play drive that time, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down, McKinnon. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And this pass broken up. And the contact well in time there. And now fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. He's in a zone, second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, hasn't it, that 100-yard mark? It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's the 1,000-yard mark. I'm wondering, since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league. No question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it's enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The offense on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time it's third and three. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. And he will have a Patriots first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. But not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. First downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. 
These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. And they run with Stevenson, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. 117 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson. And a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Patriots. Devontae Parker, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots take a three-touchdown lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Full connects on the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. On second and nine, Mahomes. Open man is Fortson. He's got it. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. They're able to convert with a gain of four. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. Here's McKinnon on the draw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Only needing two yards on second down. Now Mahomes. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Mahomes now to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Here's a pass swing left to his running back and he'll get it here to the 10 yard line he'll get only three there so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead creeping up on a minute to play in this first half escaping the touchdown Patrick Mahomes fighting me Cole Hardman and the Chiefs get a late score here in the final minute of the first half
Extra point by Butker is on target. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> All right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. Obviously, his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Off the play fake, Jones. And he's taken down, a cheap sack. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. But another try after the first down sack. Jones going deep here for Parker. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Complete. It's Henry. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. With a white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. Let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This fielded right at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Jones throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Back to throw. Jones. Now thrown to Parker, complete on the slant. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. 
certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Seven catches for him now on this last one, a first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Jones on first and 10. And incomplete on the deep ball. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Here's Stevenson. And he'll take it close to a first down at the Chiefs 22. 135 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Jones will sneak it. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. One yard is the game. And it'll be first down, New England. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going. So they call low risk, low reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Mike Evans with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Mahomes now on first down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Here's a second and two now from the 33. McKinnon now going to try the left side. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Able to find Gray here. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Options galore here, second and a few inches. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got to find his tight end gray complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 26. 
15 yards there on the catch and run. Mahomes now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. at the end he may have had a chance to release that but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went yeah he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play probably counting in his head one two and then he ran out of time so on fourth down Mahomes off Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal Butker's kick here is good and the deficit drops now for So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. And now out come the Patriots. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly open for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Looking to throw. Jones. And here's a leaping catch. He pulled it in. 16 more on that one and another first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Now Jones on first down. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> they got into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. And he's brought down. Mark, that is a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's... And he is in! Touchdown, New England! Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point up and good by Folk, and they open the lead up now to 25. So the drive there took six plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, this defense had got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get it down here to 43. And there with a the tackle, Dietrich Wise Jr. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Here again is McKinnon, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Now throw right side taken in by the tight end, Gray. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and two. Mahomes going to throw. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants this lead to stay right where it is. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Matt Judon from his outside linebacker spot the sack for a loss of eight. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. And that is caught by the bank judge right there to say incomplete. At this point, down big, you have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. They kept it in the air on 
fourth, Charles. They ran on first and second down, tried it through the air on third and fourth, couldn't come away with anything on fourth and goal. And remember, in these situations, the field is really condensed. Everything is squeezed tight. So as a defender, you can actually take more chances here because they won't have... Going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Taking it at about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The pass at the line, ready to go. And that pick six a moment ago doesn't change things too much. They still seem pretty comfortable with a three-possession fourth-quarter lead. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some... Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he will have a Patriots first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, it shows confidence in your offensive line. Meanwhile, Jones throw there, complete to Allen. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. This is Stevenson. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down. On a heavy rush, and down he goes. That was Nick Bolton rushing in and burying him behind the line. One of the league's best linebackers, he ended that play almost before it began, and the running back absolutely overmatched no matter what he tried to do. He's going to let one go deep for Parker, and that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Devontae Parker, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ballgame. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary, a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points. So this throw to cross his And it's intercepted. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit.
it, had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pickup there, 26 yards. There's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Stevenson is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Yeah, definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A four touchdown passes. They're really pouring it on. Yeah, and so much for going into clock mode after getting that touchdown, right? Because you would think with the lead fourth quarter, they might actually do that. No chance. They've kept attacking and got another touchdown pass as a result. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now this offense trying to change the script here a little bit, CD. Trailing on the scoreboard in the last timeout on the very first play of the drive, they threw that interception. And he definitely saw his coaches, teammates come over to him on the sideline, trying to help him shake it off because in this game, his team is down right now. So it's important to make sure you get some confidence back for both the quarterback and the entire offense. Otherwise, those mistakes could continue to pile up. Second and six, just inside the 30. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Mahomes to throw once more. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. This offense so far on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. Throw over the middle caught by the tight end Gray. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 30. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. On first down, Mahomes hitting Juju on the slant. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And this is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And boy, that hole closed quickly, and I don't think McKinnon got there. They'll try and run for it. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. He needed less than a foot. He didn't get a whole lot more than that, but he did get the first down. Well, he and his offensive line created enough push where if he was able to just fall forward as he was able to there, that would pick up the first down. As you noted, didn't need a whole lot, didn't get much more than that. 11 yards for number 11. First down goal at the 8 
From the gun, it's Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's great. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Third and goal. Trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. And again, it's Mahomes. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. So still throwing here in the fourth quarter with a pretty sizable lead, and now that lead even more sizable. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us it's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart. Points before this game is over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now a run with Stevenson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Now Folk for the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, and with how lopsided this... Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Juwan Bentley. And the Chiefs are going to take possession of the football. Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Looks like he'll throw here. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Throwing Jones. There's Evans again. Complete. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. I have to 
tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And now a jet sweep. This is Evans with it. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only about the four. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second and goal from inside the five. Now Jones. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. And Charles, they continue to have troubles. And now it appears that the referee's been blocked. Touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Full connects on the extra point, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Patriots force the turnover. They'll take over at their own 27. They've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Parker in the sportsmanship handbook. There's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL. It's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Jones going deep here for Parker. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Up big here in the fourth quarter. Up really big. That passing incompletion. I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points. But they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook. And they still want to run it efficiently. 22 yards there, a first down. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is. I want those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.